Have you guys ever eaten at a pita pit? You guys, hello, welcome back to another beautiful summer sunny day in Chicago, Illinois. And today, a chain restaurant that was one of my favorites in college when I wanted to quote unquote, eat healthy. Tired of pizza and burgers? You want something you can eat that won't hurt your wallet or your waistline? Stop what you're doing and head for the pita pit. It's 83 degrees today. How's it going? I just had a pickup for Sean. How's your day going so far? That's good. Awesome, man. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. Time for a little Shawnee research. This franchise has been open since 1995. They were founded in Ontario, Canada, and they've got 85 locations in New Zealand, which for some reason blows my mind. It's the subway of pitas. I gotta imagine they hate hearing that. <laughs> Buying me lunch here today, the one and only Mr. Dewey Cole. <laughs> Not to be confused with Dewey Cox. Walk hard. Inspired by your 1 a.m. late night vid, here is a fave of mine. Chicken souvlaki, double meat at Pita Pit. Tongue face, add your favorite toppings, so good. Thanks, Sean. Dewey, you're so, you're so welcome. Seriously, thank you. You know what, I don't want no hangover. I can't get no hangover. Dining room table, installed. Pita, fresh grilled and flavor filled. Pita pit. Love a fresh sandwich, love grilled meats and they put the mushrooms on there on the flat top grill with onion and they smash it all down and souvlaki, I got chicken, chicken souvlaki. Anyway, listen to the roar of the crowd as the Indians take the field. Chicken souvlaki is a Greek way of doing chicken where they cook it on the skewers and then they shred it off into whatever you're eating so it's all their different spices and stuff like that. Pita, Pita Pit I'm sure does a bastardized version of that but it's nice that they offer it. The Greeks really know how to prepare meats. Here's been my issue with Pita Pit in the past. I had it a lot in college because I just didn't feel crappy afterwards but I would spend like six, seven, eight bucks and I always remember being hungry after and that is a tough thing. <laughs> As the years went on I started getting two pitas and that pretty much put the healthy thing out the window because you doubled the calories. So today, the double meat thing, Dewey and I were talking and I was like, this one in DePaul University, it's right next to the campus of DePaul University. It's a college food staple over there. They were always really light on the meats. So we agreed to do double meat. So for this pita with just chicken and vegetables and sauce, $13.06. That's too much money. Oh, they're a dainty napkin company. The daintiest of napkins. That didn't work. You knew it was coming. Hello and welcome back to Sean's first time eating Pita Pit's chicken souvlaki. Never had it. Pretty good weight to it. Kind of just looks like a burrito if you didn't know otherwise. When I went in there, I ordered this on their app. It said it was gonna be ready at like 11.31. I walked in at 11.32. And the guy, I was like, pick up for Sean. He was like, uh, you don't like the uh. If you hear the uh, they haven't made it yet. <laughs> he grabbed the ticket, but it was made fresh right in front of me, but was not ready. What it said it was gonna be ready. Here comes the breaking ball. Now I know they don't cut these, so I brought a knife so I can show you what's inside. This could be suicidal. That's the wrong word. Suicidal, suicidal. Play that song while I cut this. It looks okay. What do you guys think? Is this thing worth 13 bucks? I got black olives, tomatoes, feta, grilled mushrooms, grilled onions, jalapenos, jalapeno ranch, banana peppers, lettuce, tzatziki, double protein. I think it's gonna fill me up though. They did put double meat. Way bigger than normal. All right, my first time with the chicken souvlaki. Pita pit, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. It's damn good. The jalapeno's got a good kick to them. There's so much chicken in this. That jalapeno ranch has got a kick to it. This whole thing is nice and creamy. The banana peppers, which was a Dewey Cole suggestion. Fire. Oh, you can! Oh, you can! A me thing, which wasn't on Dewey's list of stuff to get. Ingredients wise, 
is the feta. I'm telling you right now. I know feta's kind of polarizing. It adds so much. It accents all these flavors so well. But anyways, how you guys doing today? This weather gets me so pumped. Even when it's this hot. It's amazing how much better of a mood I'm in and how much more I want to be productive and be out and about and doing errands and filming videos, answering a ton of emails, like brrrr. Are banana peppers low key better than jalapeno peppers? Like to add to sandwiches? What is your guys' experience with Pita Pit? Have you ever had it? Are you overwhelmed, underwhelmed, whelmed? Just what do you think about it? I loved it in college so much, but honestly then Chipotle got really big. This was like 2005, and I kind of forgot about Pita Pit. Sometimes in life, you gotta let her go. And if she comes back, it was meant to be. <laughs> that chicken is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Dewey, thank you so much for donating and turning me on to the chicken soup locky. Cutting this open <laughs> for the thumbnail is so stupid. I mean, it's good because you want people to click on the video and actually see it, but pitas like that are not meant to be sliced open. <laughs> Just like spilling out everywhere. My I've used 18 napkins. I'll take over exaggeration for 600, Alex. Answer. Clean the knife. Clean the knife. This is metal. I brought a metal knife. You guys know. <laughs> Put this back in my bag. Like that's not clean. You grow. Put it right here. Also, low key, Pita Pit. You know what I never got? That because of Dewey, I've never gotten the mushrooms. I'm gonna eat the other half of this at home, and I'm actually kind of excited about it. To be completely honest with you, like. Knocking a bunch of stuff out today and being able to stop like that kind of in the middle of the city DePaul's kind of located like in the middle of the north side So it's like perfect distance from everything to just like stop order ahead, but still have a make your order in front of you That was delicious and perfect I'm throwing lettuce bits out into the Middle of Lincoln Park. Is that okay? Don't worry. I'm not I'm not tossing napkins or anything. What if I did and I was just telling you? So I'm throwing my garbage onto the ground. You, my friend, are gonna be devoured in about 90 minutes at home. Ellie and I had the weirdest thing happen to us today. Like we went to this random coffee shop. I don't even wanna say what it is because I don't want you guys to go to their other locations because this made me so mad. We left her workout class. She t taught today, she killed it. I'm dead. And we were like, Ellie's like, can I buy you an iced coffee? And I was like, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yes. And we went to this place, we walked in, and no one's at the counter. There's like a really weird vibe in there. It's our first time there. The guy like comes slugging over from, I don't even, he like appeared out of, from nowhere. He like, he threw down one of those smoke bombs and was like, hey, what can I do for you? He was like, All right, hey, what can I do for you? Like depressed, right? And Allie's so bubbly and she was like, hi, just two uh, 16 ounce cold brews. And he was like, okay, put your card in. First of all, this was six and a half dollars. And he goes, by the way, just so you know, we're shuttering our doors starting tomorrow. This location will no longer be here. Also, I'm using hot cups for your iced coffee. He said all that and we were like, oh, okay. And then he put him down, he was like, bye. He said, bye, bye. I know Punk's been off the air for a little while, but I started going, is someone about to jump out? What if, what? You're on candid camera, It was so weird. Nothing like feeling uncomfortable at 7.42 in the morning. Probably that guy's last day at his job, so that's probably why he was all pissed off. Don't worry, we still tipped him. Mmm, every sip was 48 cents. All right, guys, that was delicious. Do we call Pita Pit a little too expensive, I think, overall, but I think get the double meat. It's $2.50 extra. I think it's worth it. It really beefs that bitch up, and uh, if you don't mind spending damn near $15 on a sandwich with no side, that's the move, man. Let me know what you guys think about Pita Pit. Let's just chat pitas and pits and pita pits today in the comments, and come on back for a brand new video on the show. If you want to be like Dewey, the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, you can donate to the vlog. I make a video every Every single day, the donations come in, and we've been cranking, cranking through. Are we at, we're almost at halfway through the year. Like the end of June, right, will be six months. Months, words, numbers, time. Oh my God, we're almost have, we, we're almost have done this for a half a year. Pita Pit, up, Pita Pit. Well, half of it, down, until later when I eat the other half. Guys, can we all agree that Dewey Cole is a great name? 
Would that be okay? Dewey, thanks again. And shout out to Donation Notebooks. It's an inanimate object, but I feel a lot of love for it.